President Obama was virtually next door as Kim Jong-un engaged in another provocation against America. While the president met with world leaders at the G20 summit in Hangzhou, China, Kim's regime fired three medium-range ballistic missiles into the Sea of Japan. South Korean military officials say the missiles flew about 620 miles and were launched with no navigational warning. Tonight, a senior U.S. official tells CNN they could have threatened commercial aircraft or ships in the area. I would say that that's probably North Korea's intention. Their, their calculation, it's a, their gamble of trying to be provocative, of, of saying, look at me, uh, getting the attention during the G20 summit. Japan's defense minister tonight calls the launch a serious threat, saying the North Koreans have learned from their mistakes with these missiles. The evidence, he says, the three missiles landed at almost the same spot at about the same time. Three missiles in the same spot, that could have damage on an airfield. Uh, the kind of concept of operations of lofting one while doing a depressed launch of another. Uh, they may have a sophisticated uh, concept of operations for the missiles that this test might have been demonstrating. This is the second time in less than two weeks that Kim Jong-un has fired missiles which landed inside Japan's zone for identifying threats from the air. Japan is an inviting target because they're rich, they're relatively soft, at least compared to the South Koreans, and they're the former colonial masters. Kim also endangered his own people by firing these missiles. They flew from the western part of the country, east, more than 100 miles before they were over the sea. Analysts say Kim cares less about hitting innocent people on the ground than he does about his own power circle. Kim's generals, they say, may be pushing him to be more aggressive. He has to constantly guard himself. Uh, he is continuing to purge people, circulate people, create insecurity among the higher ranks of the military and security services precisely so no one gets any ideas. Now, just hours before the launch, China's president told his South Korean counterpart that China doesn't want American THAAD anti-missile batteries set up inside North Korea. This system, designed to shoot down incoming North Korean missiles, is going to be operational soon. Experts tell us with every missile that Kim Jong-un fires, he undermines his ally, the Chinese, and their campaign against this THAAD system.